Electric dogs hammer terrible tigers. The Bulldogs attack has sparked to life in recent weeks and that's been mirrored by the scoreboard. Canterbury registered 30 or more points in a game just twice between 2019 and the first 13 rounds of this season, but the Bulldogs have now hit that mark twice in their last two games under the reign of Mick Potter. The interim head coach oversaw a 34-4 win over the Eels at Accor Stadium on Monday, before watching on as his side thrashed West's Tigers 36-12 at Combank Stadium on Sunday. The Bulldogs' first set of back-to-back -back wins since 2019 has seen the longtime strugglers climb to 13th on the ladder, where they sit ahead of the Tigers, Warriors and Titans. Canterbury's first two tries of Sunday's match came through dummy half darts from close range, but every one of the others involved a kick or stem from a play outside the 30-meter zone Potter was his typical understated self when asked about the Bulldogs' thriving attack. The players like to score tries and kick some goals, Potter said in his post-match press conference. They're working really hard to make our attack better, and every week they're coming up with something a little bit different. It's been good to watch. It's probably the players themselves. I think they have realized there's more in them and they want to play a little bit more. They're just expanding out and they're trying new things, and it's working for us. I'm really happy for them. To have that many points in a couple of games is great for everyone. Jake Avarillo, who's played a host of positions this season but looks to have found a home at fullback, snared his third double from his last four NRL appearances. The Bulldogs also celebrated a priceless moment when Curtis Moran scored a try on debut, bursting onto a Josh Adokar ball and dashing over to score in the 64th minute. I'd say he probably has 50 of his lunatic mates up in the stand, said rugby league immortal Andrew Johns on Nine's coverage. The Bulldogs will search for three wins in succession in a clash with the Sharks at Combank Stadium next Saturday, before the Tigers square off against the Warriors at Mount Smart Stadium a day later.